lot of the conversation about healthcare is like, on the financial side. Mm -hmm. you're obviously important, and, and we definitely want to talk to you about that. Mm -hmm. But it's not but the just, only barrier. Yeah. What would be the advice that you would give to policymakers and lawmakers? Well, I think that when we've talked about healthcare reform so often, we talk about insurance. We, we get stuck on the coverage piece. But really, the Affordable Care Act, and I think any policy that's going to have any ability to change things is, is going to focus on that triple aim of reform, which is to decrease cost, increase outcomes, and improve the patient's engagement in their own health. We've got those three things to do, and a lot of what we talk about then is coverage, and coverage was never a goal. Coverage is a strategy to lower cost, because if we can get people into primary care earlier, understand how to keep themselves well and healthy, then at the end of the day, the cost curve, curve bends because healthy people are pretty inexpensive to take care of. You know, healthcare is a big theme right now. If you were invited into a room with government leaders, what are some of the things that you might say? I would definitely say funds are going to be needed regardless of the patient's uh, background because like you like you said you know some of these patients m may have to come in for further treatments that they may not be able to afford necessarily if they were to walk in an ER um, so I would definitely suggest you know we help everyone it's just not this one type of group of individuals we are here to help the entire community in itself. So if there was any funds or anything else out there that they could provide, you know, the healthcare system, it, it'd be appreciated tremendously. I've noticed that since a lot of more people have gotten that Obamacare, we start getting more patients in. Just because they feel that, oh, I have insurance, they feel like they can rely on at least some part of, hey, if my insurance is gonna cover this percentage, then I think I can afford to pay the other percentage that I can that they won't cover. So just to keep it. But even through the Affordable Care Act, I would definitely advise them if they could be re-revised re because some of those are, you know, expensive. Even, you know, commercial insurances, you know, are matching up with the Affordable Care Act. And, you know, as far as my understanding, if you are applying for the Affordable Care Act, you were thinking, oh, it's going to be lower than if I was to go to any commercial insurance. But if you look at them hand in hand, they kind of go hand in hand. So really, what is the difference? So it's still expensive. So it's still long. expensive, yes. How long have you been uh, coming to the clinic? Right uh, there? 22 years. 22 years, 22 okay. Years. But uh, they, you know, it's like they change uh, it's different clinics, you know, it's different clinics. But I, st I start when they open, like, I don't know how long they've been open, but I've been there for like 22 years okay. all the time great service I mean I go in there because it's not very expensive do you bring your family here is it just you or first it was uh, me and then my my kids but then I changed it to OU pediatrics mm -hmm. but for me all the time in there on this like, I never change and you said one of the reasons you come here is because of the cost yes right how much of a savings is it to come to a clinic like Variety Care as opposed to where we're going somewhere else? Well, it's a little bit expensive because when I go to this clinic, is I pay thirty-five dollars plus if the medicine, and if I go to a different place, uh, it's like a hundred and ninety maybe with the medicine. Uh, the kids may have Medicaid because the household is poor enough to qualify for the children to have Medicaid and grandma who lives with them may have Medicare. And the, the whole family can come to the same place and you mentioned about how difficult the system is to navigate. It's really easier for a patient to have everything in one location and for all family members to be able to go to the same place. Sometimes we'll see both children in the same visit, you know, because it's it's that means mom doesn't have to come back another time. If they can get their medical and their dental taken care of and their optometry taken care of, the likelihood of them advantaging primary care is higher. It's easier. And ease of use is part of the mission. Is that difficult going to other places that may not? Yes. It's, it's, it's muy difícil. 
¿Sí me entiendes? Porque ahí en la variedad te explican entonces. Por el servicio, ella recibe calidad de servicio. Y sobre eso, ella recibe un excelente servicio de cliente también de nuestro staff de Variety Care. Um, as a Hispanic, that's what she looks for, is to get um, quality care and also get that customer uh, service. And she feels, she feels that she receives that here. Well, as a community health center, our, our main goal is to provide access to people who have trouble finding access. And, and sometimes that barrier can be transportation, so location is important. Sometimes it's financial, so being able to provide low cost, high quality services is important. Uh, sometimes it's language. Oh, we have all kinds and types of varieties of people that we see. We see anywhere from adults to children. We see um, some geriatric patients, not very many, uh, but we have all services under one roof here, which is fantastic. We go from family medicine to um, women's health. We have a vision department. We have dental. In fact, we also have behavioral health if need be. If you didn't have this access to affordable care, how would that how would that change your life? What would be different? What would health wise? Pues ir a trabajar más horas. One is to go work more hours. Sí, pues a, a veces no es de que te busque, es que tienes la necesidad de. Ir. Right. So I asked her if she would be willing to go work, and she said it's not so much that I would want to, but it's something that I would have to in order for to reach her, you know, cost. Tú siempre te, siempre no 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 más yo cualquier persona vas a tratar de buscar lo, lo más económico. So as an individual, we always try to seek the best, what's economical for one, and that's what she is found here, and that's what she does. It's ne and it's not only me, it's like everybody's gonna look the, you know. What we find is, is that patient education is critical. And um, I, I've often heard people say, well, everyone knows you should da-da-da. That's not true. Not everyone knows. Not, and a lot of times our patients don't know that really the food with high carbohydrates is, is, is hurting them in their diabetes. They, they didn't know that until they worked with a nutritionist. They didn't know that some medications should be taken with food and some should not, or some should be in the morning and some should be. I mean, those are things that takes a while. Patients have to be educated on how to take care of themselves and how to take care of their kids. And so I think that that's a piece of, of the puzzle here is really getting people to be more engaged in their health and in their wellness. Um, you know, this country ran a long time on the President's Initiative for Physical Fitness in the 60s. And health was in the schools, and how to take care of your body was in the schools, and everybody was doing chin-ups, and so, I mean, that was part of what happened. That doesn't happen anymore. If you take better care of yourself, generally speaking, you're gonna have a longer and healthier life. Did health care right now is kind of a big topic in, in the, in the national, national realm. Um, there's a lot of talk about making changes uh, to the Affordable Care Act. As the government considers ways to make health care better, what do you think would make health care better? What are some things that would make it better for you and for your community when it comes to seeking health care? Other agencies or other clinics, anything with the government, they they'll offer you something. But she's but she's let me. What she told me from what I understood is that she's gonna go to what she benefits from. And so, um, same thing with her daughter. She said she she was on student care, but now that she's off of it, she has to go elsewhere and she has to look for whatever is best for her. Yes. She was on school. Pero si estuviera en mí, yo, yo a mí me gustaría que siguiera ahí, si me entiendes, en, con, con ustedes. So as she was saying is, if she was, a, if she was a already legal, um, and she knew the services that Righty Care had, but she had um, an insurance to where she could go, where she could get the same services, and she maybe she would go there, but she would still come back to Variety Care because of the services that are offered here and the quality of care that she receives. In our community, um, we have a lot of undocumented um, individuals. Mm -hmm. uh, they don't have access to insurances due to financial mm -hmm. needs. And what I love about Variety Care is they don't care about the ethnicity background. If you know we have a patient in need, we'll always find a way to get them the proper health care. We do serve the undocumented, we think, but we don't ask, but we just, we assume that if a person is coming in and they don't have any coverage and they have their household income, we see them. And we don't really know, right? 
but what when we did um, kind of looking into the, the numbers of patients that we see who would have qualified if the state had expanded coverage to through Medicaid expansion about 90 percent of our patients who are residents of the state who are working in the state they're just uninsured they would have qualified for some coverage so we can talk about some of the things that we hope we can figure out once we get the politics out of all of this is I hope that we can find a way to get people covered who really are never going to be able to afford insurance without some kind of subsidy. That's just not possible.